very, very special welcome to all of you who are watching. Very special welcome to all of you who are watching us on Channel 23 Comcast, BNN TV. Special welcome to all of you who are watching us on the RCN cable system, Channel 83. And for those of you who are watching worldwide, that's right, we are now worldwide, bnntv.org. And for those of you who are watching us on YouTube, a very special welcome to our program tonight. Well, Jim Sayer and I have been doing this show now for, for quite a while, and the last couple of times we've been talking about the New England studio. And tonight we're going to talk a little more about it, and we have somebody that will give us a little more information about it as well, because he is from the New England studio. And a very special welcome to Jim. Jim? Thank you, John. Nice Always to a be pleasure here. to co-host the program with you. We have a great show tonight, Jim. Three people are knowledgeable, John. That should help you because I don't know anything about anything. Well, you we know, know you know uh, uh, Erica Derricks, and Erica yep. joins us. This is our third time with Erica. She is no stranger to our program. We had a lot of compliments the last time Erica was here. And we have we have Stephen Catalano, who's going to talk about the catering business. Are you often talked about the support staff, the, right. the movie industry, the ancillary groups that actually help bring business here into the state with the movie industry? And we're going to talk a little about that tonight. And we also have Chris Byers. We've been hearing Chris's name for quite some time on the program because Chris is going to be on the program tonight, and he's going to talk about the New England studio. Jim, what's going on? John, we have um, to say this year was 17 movies and TV shows oh, wow, came through New Jim. England, which is wow. excellent. This is the most I think we ever had, and it's a good sign for the ne coming future, I should sure. say. This being the last show of the year, hopefully 2014 right. can be produce even more of them. I see three or four movies coming in. I think one coming in January. There's supposed to be a movie that lasts eight months down the Cape. They're going to shoot it. And when there's something coming in February, a t pilot for television. Yes, right? that's coming in February. And something in April. April through September, there's supposed to be three movies coming in. All sorts of good things happening here. That's right. Here, so huh? they'll start off fast and end fast, I hope. And I guess they have catering, like you said, the catering business. I know whenever we go on a set, first thing everybody looks for is the food. And you've been, on this, you've been on a few sets these last couple of months, too. I have. Yes, I have. Thank God. I know. And that's very, very important. We're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about something very important, endemic right here to the, the state of Massachusetts. When movies are made here, it's because of the ambience, because of the location, because of the, the look, because of buildings, because of the terrain, the topography. All that, all that means something. But also, it's a great idea. We've seen this in the last couple, the, the, discussed in the last couple of years. It's a great idea to have an actual facility, pre-production, post-production, right. and production. And Chris Byers is going to talk to us about that. Hey, Erica, you're no stranger to our show. Welcome back. Hey, John. Always, back. always, always a pleasure to have you with us. And thank you so much for helping us put this program together tonight. What's going on with you? I see you on Facebook all the time and all sorts of things happening. Absolutely. Well, I've uh, been having a lot of success recently. Last time I was on the show, I was telling right. you about this, the new studio that I was right. opening up. Mm -hmm. Since then, um, it's, it's just blossoming. It's really a wonderful space where I'm doing both my, my headshots and then at, by night uh, I do acting classes out of that space. So that's really exciting. And then professionally, the show that I'm producing and co-starring in called Quiet Desperation actually was written up today in The Dig, um, actually yesterday. Uh, in the Dig magazine, which is uh, one of the popular Boston newspapers, right. so it's it's being very well received, um, and which is really exciting for me. Congratulations! That sounds yeah, great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've seen pictures on Facebook also, or some of the pictures of these girls you've taken. Gorgeous. <laughs> some of them are excellent. I'm very blessed to know a lot of very beautiful actors and actresses yes. in this. And that's part of our support right. ancillary oh, project absolutely. here. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. It's good to keep, like Erica, in, um, people in this area, instead of going outside the area to go to uh, New York or Philadelphia. A lot of people go to Philadelphia lately, but New York especially. But if Erica can take pictures here, why go somewhere else? Keep it in New England. That's what I always say. Work hard. We work hard. We deserve it. And I, I was going to say, it's actually something that I think we all have in common in this right. couch is, on this couch is that we want to do what we want to mm -hmm. do here in New England. We want to keep That's the good. business here, and we want to grow the business here. Right. Steve, talking about having a business here, you're in the food service industry, right? I am. Um, we have a small restaurant in Pepperell, uh, Dolce is the name of it, and um, we moved into a uh, movie catering business. It's over near Devon's where Chris's studio is. I heard Chris speak at a uh, Chamber of Commerce breakfast probably about two and a half years ago, and um, it was so interesting, you know, the uh, excitement around the studio, the jobs, and what it brings to Massachusetts. 
uh, and I wanted to be a part of that. So I spoke to Chris after the uh, breakfast, and you know he gave me some ideas and some thoughts about you know the intricacies of the movie catering business right. specifically, which is a lot different than you know catering for you know uh, first communion or mm -hmm. you know things at Certain people's events. houses and right. events and so forth. Right. So um, we did a, a lot of investigation into the business. We worked with a movie industry uh, caterer uh, who's been done several movies down in New Orleans and in Atlanta, and uh, we wound up buying trucks and infrastructure and bringing it, you know, based out of Massachusetts. All of our trucks are registered in Massachusetts. All of our jobs are being created in Massachusetts. We buy our local produce. We buy our local meats. We're very firm believers in the Massachusetts economy and what this film industry can bring to Massachusetts. Running a business opening a business, developing a business, and getting a business started is exciting. But what's more exciting is the movie industry, and it's all part of it. It's all part of it. It's all related. It's all involved with, with an industry, and the New England studio is something that's here and now. Yeah. Um, the studios is sort of a result of the industry already being here. Right. Um, you know, when I came here a lot, uh, I think it was about six years ago now, uh, I was going to do a feature here, and I the tax credit actually pulled me back to Massachusetts. I'm from here originally. So the film that we were thinking about doing fit in Massachusetts, which many films do. And it was just an, uh, an interesting blend, uh, being able to come back to Massachusetts and actually visually play the film out as we were, as we were doing a location scout. But as that happened, a lot of talk was going on about studios that were potentially going to be um, popping up here in Massachusetts. They didn't quite pan out, right? For various reasons, yeah. Um, and uh, somebody really sort of challenged me because uh, I, I took a look at what was being proposed and I, I didn't really see how that would work here. Right. And um, somebody actually challenged me and they said, well, why don't you put a studio here? And from that moment, I actually started digging in and, and really getting an idea of how the industry was based here, what kind of depth we have here, what kind of crew depth, what kind of expansion potentials they have here. And every single time I turned another corner, it was positive news as far as I was concerned. Um, my team up at New England Studios calls me the dreamer. And, but now I look at them and, I, and we have a good laugh because I look at them and I go, well, this is a dream? <laughs> it's a reality. Well, that's part of the movie yeah. industry, too. That's right. You've, you've got to have vision and creativity that's and on, passion. You mention that on Facebook all the time. Yeah, it's very critical. I mean, without that, all, you don't have a right. product. So, um, you know, from there, uh, what we did is we put together an economic-based project. Right. And this project is in phases. So the first phase, we put together four 18,000-square-foot studios. 30,000 feet of production office space. And in our um, studio as it sits now, what we did is we really concentrated on upgrading the technology that a studio has or a studio needs or a studio is lacking. So studios have existed for about 90 years right now. And what we've done is we've taken a little bit of the old part of the studios with everything that's in our hands right now and we tried to foresee the you know, as far as you can see down the road, which, you know, tomorrow everything could change, of course, but we feel we did a, a really good blend with the technology needs in there, the future build out, the land that we have to develop, and what we put it, on as a product. It's state of the art. It is. It's state of the art. It is. We have a lot of the major studios coming and doing right. visits, and, you know, it's, it's starting to become, uh, you know, the same banter every time they leave they are all walking away with their mouths open and just saying you know these are the most beautiful studios we have seen and I don't think it's just verbiage I mean you know I've worked in studios for almost 30 years and these are beautiful studios and they're functional give us a call 617-708-3280 617-708-3280 and as usual the topic tonight is the motion picture industry the entertainment industry here in Massachusetts more specifically the New England studio, which we've been leading up to for the last uh, couple of months, Erica, we've been talking about it. The last forever, it Yeah, like. we've been talking about it forever, and a lot of people have been wanting it to be here for a long time, too. Yeah. And now it's here, yep. and you're having an open house. We are. Actually, what we did is um, uh, 
our, our first show we're anticipating at the end of January, beginning of February. Right. So we're getting all our operations uh, and our systems in place now, which is a bigger job than we anticipated. Mm -hmm. But so we're glad to have this time. But the holidays were coming, and there's, I have so many emails and uh, hits from LinkedIn and Facebook wanting tours. So I figured, how am I going to get all these people through the studio? Right. And all of a sudden, Christmas was here. Right. So I figured. We're going to do a benefit for kids and food drives and everything else. So we put this uh, elves fill shelves together. Right. Actually, the, uh, Steve's company has been instrumental in helping with this. Um, without them, actually, I don't know if we would have pulled this thing off because I just had the idea last week. So um, what we're doing is for a tour of the studio, right. you can come up and you can give a toy for the Toys for Tots and something, a uh, non-perishable item for the food drive or write a check for the Wish Foundation. Uh, so there's, there's a bunch of options. And when you go inside, we're gonna give you a tour of the studio. And during the tour, there's a, there's a potential where you can have a picture taken inside the studio, so you can have your picture in the stage. And then as you go on, if your children are coming, we're gonna have a Santa Claus, of course, and you can have a picture taken with Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. And we have a couple of green screen elements and movie lights mm -hmm. in back of it, just so you get a little bit of the feel. And then after they get through the studio, they're going to get dumped out into the film caterer, which is Steve's company. What a fascinating topic. And this is tomorrow. Yeah. This, this is, is tomorrow. This is tomorrow. December 21st. Yeah. Yeah. Is that that correct? Tomorrow for people is Saturday, who are watching December 21st. Right. You can come anytime between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Right. That's correct. They're not, they're not pre scheduled times. So just show up and take a tour. And this is, yeah. Fort, De this is at Fort Devens. This is, is at Fort correct? Devens. That's okay. correct. Yeah. December 21st. From so exciting. Yeah, I always say, if you're going to do something in this business, <coughs> it's good to give back. And, and that's important, I think, to everybody who wants to uh, keep on in this business, keep on going. And that's well, a great and, idea. And in two ways, that's, a great that's idea. exactly sort of how this um, idea filtered through. Yeah. One is I wanted to be able to get people up there who wanted to mm -hmm. see it. You know, uh, we want to feed the people mm -hmm. as much as we can. This is not an elite project. This is a project from Massachusetts. And uh, I want to get as many people through there as we can and have people involved in the studio as much as we possibly Maybe can. Maybe this is a person talking about that now. Can we have your question, please? Hello. Hello. Hi, we're going to have our te technical people turn up the volume a little bit. We have a call here, Jim. Yep. Uh, the first call of the uh, last show of the year, actually. Maybe we can hear you now. Why don't you ask your question? Yes. Where is uh, where is the studio located? Okay, the, where is the studio located? The studio is located at Devon's, um, I think the it's... The old Air Force Base? It, it is. It's the old military base. Uh, you would go up uh, Route 2 and get off at Jackson Road. And um, it's, uh, you would take a left on Givery Road for everybody who's wanting the information. Uh, if you are looking at it through Google or whatever uh, other If you'd like to plug things, an, um, an address it, into the GPS, yes. which people most definitely need, it's, it's 95 Jackson Road, correct? 94 Jackson 94, Road. 94 okay. Jackson Road. And that's where the parking will be. Okay. And once you get you on must Jackson, have signs and everything. Well, once yeah. you get on Jackson Road, the state police have been gracious enough to give us six people, and they're going to direct people to where nice. the truck, and then we have buses, uh, the Catalanos, got us buses that are going to take the people from the parking into the structure. Nice. All sorts of things Very happening exciting. tomorrow. Yes. I actually got to take a tour of the studios uh, yesterday and it was so exciting. It is so incredible when you get to be in there and see all the details and one of my favorite things that I learned is that because Chris has had so many different jobs in the industry over the past 30 years, I mean he's done he's done grip, he's been, done stunts, he's done the whole range. He's That's incorporated his experiences wearing these different hats in the industry into the details of this building. So it's really, it's built for the people what they need as they make these productions. Because we, when Jim and I often talked about people who come on this, people who sit on the sofa just like you, they, they've worn so many hats. They're the screen, mm -hmm. they're screenwriters, they're independent film producers, they're actors, they're, you name it, they do it in the business. Yeah. Stand up comics, what, you know, singers, whatever. Yeah, absolutely. You, you do the same. Absolutely, we have to. We'll be That's, good. That's good. We have another call. Can we have a question, please? Yes, I don't have a question. I want to say happy holidays to John. Oh, thank and you. Erica and all of everybody on your panel tonight. Thank you. Thank you. But I did not quite understand the part about 
the gifts for the kids. I'm a grandmother that is in need, and I need to know a number that I can get a little bit of help for my grandchildren. Um, that, I, I don't have an, an actual number for that, but who you would contact is the Toys for Tots. Toys for Tots is, are, are the people who are going to come out to the studio, take the toys, and then they distribute them. If you're, are you asking, um, uh, like, what's the, the, the minimum donation that they're looking for? I think she's asking if she, if, if for how, people yeah. who were, how would, how would, they, how would, they, would, toys how would they receive children. toys if they wanted to, My people wanted to. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and that would be, you would have to call the uh, Toys for Tots, mm -hmm. and they do all the distributions for the toys. Okay. Thank you, thank you, all thank you very so much. much. And I'm enjoying this show. And Erica, you just keep right on doing what you're doing, baby. <laughs> thank you. Happy I holidays. Say that. Thank you. And happy holidays to everybody. Happy thank holidays. Thank you very much. You, you too. I, I think you probably know who I am. Yep. <laughs> Helen calls in every yeah, every Helen. every month. Thanks for calling, Helen. What a, All right. a great Happy opportunity! Happy holidays! Bye bye. Awesome. It, it provides people a chance to see the studio. Yeah. And it provides people to contribute. And yeah. it also pro provides people to get gifts that wouldn't otherwise be able to get gifts. Well, absolutely. You know, this was one, one of the things that you hear quite a bit is is everybody really focuses in on what the industry takes. Mm. Right. They, they mm. really are so far off track. The industry is probably one of the more giving industries in the world. Um, and we wanted to be able to, even before we're open, have some kind of impact giving back to the community. And this was the way to get it done. And, you know, I'll mention something else. Is, you know, I've had a lot of dialogue with all the major studios, and one of their big concerns is when they go and film somewhere, they take... Um, they take a, a strict evaluation of what their carbon footprint is, right. and then they give back to the communities in which they film at. Well, we see that mm -hmm. in Jim. Yeah. Tourism, I think, is number one. Yeah. We, we see that yep. in tourism. People want to see the state after seeing it in film, right? Everybody likes it. Absolutely. Everybody likes Everybody it. Everybody likes it. Wants Cheers is a perfect example of right. that. For years, that was the number one. Everyone thought Fenway Park. Even it was, even it though was it wasn't cheers. filmed here, right? right. The, 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 the facsimile, you know, the, the, the facade was here. Yes. Yeah. And they wanted yes. to see it so it would attract people to the city. Of course, the Boston has a lot more that mm -hmm. people oh. are attracted to, of course. But Absolutely. But you can see the power in, in which the, right. the shows have. I mean, Cheers has been off the television for, At what, 20, 20 years? Sure. And least. if you talk about Cheers to anybody, they are going to say, oh, Boston. Right. Synonymous with Boston. Spencer for Hire, we still think oh, yeah. of that. We still yeah. associate that with Boston. What a great show. Yeah, another good <laughs> show. The Boston Strangular, we, obviously because of the name. Uh, the Friends of Eddie Coyle. All of these we remember as being films being shot here. And, and now we have Mark Wahlberg and Matt Damon and Ben and Affleck. Casey Affleck. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, these guys are, they're this ooze Boston, you know, which I love. I mean, I'm from here too, so I, I'm so proud that they are doing what they do. What are some of the things that we we're going to see in 2014? I think we're going to see a pilot, which is the most important thing We're anywhere. going to see, because we're going to see a lot stay. of pilots. We're going yeah, to see a pilot. Stay. Because the one thing um, we don't have is a, is a pilot, and everywhere you, go, you have to go to see one is New York, L.A. Right. And there's someone once said on a, one of the meetings we had that until you have a pilot, you will not be taken seriously. Well, now we have the studio. The pilot should just fall right into the hand. Uh, Spencer did quite well when it was here. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Same with Cheers, like you said. They, pilots are a gold mine because they give people work each week. We did the pilot, stable. body of proof. I worked it up in Rhode Island. I worked 19 days on it for 13 episodes. I worked 19 days. And that's I, what it is, a regular job each week. You come, you know, you, you, my uniform, the police uniform is there. You know all the people each right. week, and it's just a moneymaker. That's what it really yeah. is. Having, having a series here is going to be a, a critical element, yes. and, and it's one of the big elixirs that the studio does for this industry here. Mm -hmm. It really becomes a permanent business and it becomes an industry that Massachusetts can start depending on. Um, you, you're absolutely right. Uh, I think that this year we will probably see anywhere from four to six, maybe even eight pilots. Exactly. And I would not be surprised if we have a series or a cable series shooting here before the end of 2014. Mm -hmm. But we need to get, we need to still push for the tax credits here too, right? Tax credit is, uh, I mean, let's, there, there's just we can't leave, no other conversation. The mm -hmm. tax right. credit is the reason why the films come or the television right. series That's come. Right. 
And what we really have to start bearing down on is the, every year having the potential hiccup. You know, we, this tax credit was supposed to be in place to the year 2023. So it would, it would be, a, I think, a really great push for the industry if we didn't have these hiccups every year in, in the budget. Is it being re renegotiated now? It, every year it becomes an issue because it's a tax credit. So right. they revisit, you know, to try to balance the budgets. And, so this um, is one of the first things that gets hit. Right. Well, well, I talked to Lisa. Excuse that. I, mean, I, I talked okay. to Lisa Strauss, who's in charge of the New England Film Bureau. Yep. I talked to her about the tax, uh, right. and she's positive that no one's going to touch them. She told me that, and she and she should know because she's in charge of the New England Film Bureau. But also, one, one other thing is that when we have pilots here, I always said this on other shows. People like Erica and Mr. Steve, right? Yes, yeah, Steve. And because you people should go to the SAG after and get loans if you need money. I always said that they should help give back. You see what I'm saying? If you need a loan for something to get your business going, or your business or help you, SAG after should help you people get a small loan that you can pay back and get everything flourishing more. Because that's what we need. We need more people like yourselves that are trying to do something for the people here. And someone should try to help you also. Well, the thing is, on, on the uh, tax, going back to that, the, uh, you know, the, 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 the tax incentive, mm -hmm. and pushing that sunset back out, um, what we've learned just getting into the business is that when the films come here, they're consumption based and they spend a lot of money in the local communities. We, we found, you know, um, we were up and we did an HBO uh, miniseries, all of Kittredge, which filmed up in Rockport. Mm -hmm. We just came off of that. Right. And we bought so much gasoline, propane, mm -hmm. groceries from the local grocery store, Ice. fish from the local fish market. Ice from, you know, ice, water. Coffee right. a bit. Coffee, a lot of coffee. Yeah, a lot of coffee. <laughs> and we like coffee. <laughs> but um, at any rate, the amount of um, business and amount of money that trickles down into areas that some of the politicians don't really realize. Right. It's quite they, substantial. It's substantial. Right. And they're looking at, you know, um, at first glance, it's this big actor that comes into the state mm -hmm. and is taking out the money out of the state. But it really, you know, the bottom line is, Everybody underneath that. It's like you know when you think of um, the Bruins going to the going to uh, trickle uh, down. Uh, there's a trickle down. Yeah. Right. The Bruins go to the playoffs. Oh. The guy who parks the car makes money. Every single person vendors, who works, all the vendors, every vendor right. makes money. Restaurants, yeah. the, hotels. The, the Bruins go on right. strike, and what happens? All those businesses right. dry up. They're hurting. And they're hurting. That's right. Film industry, same thing. When the yeah, films the come to town, mm -hmm. the trickle down is tremendous. And over in Devons, in that area, you know, that redevelopment of that base, the trickle down is going to be And that's not tremendous. to say with tourism that happens after the fact. Right. right. Oh, it, 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 it's far reaching. But the real issue is um, what really doesn't get looked at is the multipliers. And that is all of the trickle down that happens when a film comes. Through the studio, this is another issue that we're going to try to take hold of over the next year and a half to two years. All of the people that we, we're going to be doing business with, we're going to ask them to keep records of who they're doing business with, just like the catering company, how they go to the local fish, fish market, the local farms, right. all the people they do business with, how much money they've spent there. And, and then we're going to be able to give the people who decide on this stuff actual data. And data is the way that we resolve these That's issues. Good. You know, we can sit here and tell everybody what it is and what it is we think, but without the data, it's just verbiage. So we're going to create the data to hopefully put this to rest. That's a very good idea. That's what, like a, we talked earlier about the Boston Globe putting out this article, mm -hmm. but they don't look at the bottom line is how many people go to work for this. You know, when the companies come in here, like Steve just told you, it trickle down, everybody gets a piece of the pie. A lot of people get hired, new people get hired to just go on a set, you know, and union people. You and your people come on the sets. We've never had this before. 17 movies and TV shows came there. It's a lot of people they hired. And thousands. Of course, That's and of course, thousands the thousands of people. will be attractive and be an incentive to more people coming in. Oh, absolutely. I, you know, I, I think that this year the studio will potentially almost double the work that goes into the state. How many people at the studio work there? Is it a full time, part time? Well, inside the studio, we'll probably have about 14 people working mm -hmm. that actually just run the studio part of this. Mm -hmm. But it depends. I mean, the shows that come in, if we have two television series, you're talking close to five, 600 people that's possibly. Right. Um, and that's what the studio does. It creates the possibility 
for the for the television series to come in and be continuous employment throughout the year. Mm -hmm. So, you know, without it, they're in New York or they're in Toronto. Right. And right. So this makes the industry a destination here now. We are now No more excuses. A we don't have to go anywhere else. No, because the infrastructure now is it's in front of us. That's right. I mean, we still have a little bit, a little bit uh, of infrastructure to build on, but now the big piece of it's out of the way. So now we can concentrate on filling in all the. We have a legitimate motion picture studio here that people can utilize. That's absolutely right. I have a question, yeah. Chris. When you when you uh, connect with your industry contacts back on the West Coast and you tell them about the studio and you have them out and showing them, what's what's their feedback? What do they think of it? Well, as I said earlier, uh, most of them walk out. And it, you know, as far as I can tell, it's totally sincere, and they, they're a little taken back. I think they usually are coming here expecting, you know, sort of a makeshift studio type situation. And when they walk in there, they, they are just, you know, I can see their eyes. They're, they're opened. And when, by the time they walk out, they're like, you've really done a really great job here. These are the nicest studios we've ever been to. So, and, and I don't think it's lip service. I mean, you when you go up uh, tomorrow, hopefully everybody will be there, uh, you can judge for yourself. Right, and not only that, but we've seen, like as, as Jim mentioned, the numbers of films that have actually been produced in this state, just in what you said, 17 in the last... The last well, year, this last year alone. The proof is in the pudding. The movies are being shot here. Yes, sir. The movies are here, and, and for the most part, they're successful. So the motion picture facility will only enhance the fact that Post-production, pre-production can be done here. Yeah, and, it, the, and it, the films are already the, the films are being shot here, and they're they're already here. They are. We'll just expand the right. base now. Right. Right. That's all, that's what that's what the studios does for us. I have a question. What do you see now that now that the studio is built? What do you see as some of the challenges that are going to be ahead? You know, with the studios, with the industry. You know, for for anyone here in Massachusetts who wants to see and contribute to a, a growing film industry, what what do you foresee? Well. I think with any location um, becoming a destination, there's growing pains and there's capital outlay. And I think it's, it's hard for people to have that capital outlay without a hotel room that they can rely on or a hamburger that they can sell. It's, it's a risk. But I think that we've lowered the risk level by having the studio here. And I think people hopefully now will see that you can start up this post-production company. You can start up your visual effects company. You can start up a transportation company. And the catering business. Absolutely. And, and there, <laughs> there's proof right there. Right. So, um, uh, you know, I, I hope over the next year we can develop another 15 businesses that will support the industry within this, the walls of the studio. 617-708-3280. 617-708-3280. Jim, is this another call coming in? I think in? we have one, John. Can we have your question, please? Hello. Yes, hello. Hi. Yes, how you doing? Um, good evening. Um, good. Say hello to uh, John. Um, this is Katrina. Hello, Florida. I'm enjoying this show tonight. And I have a question for Erica. Sure. I would like to know, um, is there any game shows that um, come to Boston? Are there any what shows? Game shows? Um, no, dance shows. Oh, dance, dance shows. shows. Oh gosh, I don't know, but I would love to love to find out if there's a dance well, coming to Boston. Well, actually, we see all of us see these things coming through the casting agencies, and there are all sorts of there are all, there are sorts, all sorts of, of things productions out there. happening in right. Boston. There's right. a lot of reality. All sorts of things. A lot of um, if you have interest in in um, you know becoming an actor, you know Boston Casting is one of the great organizations. CP Casting. There are a lot of different casting agencies, even in uh, Rhode Island. There's so many different opportunities, and there's so many different productions. You know, we're talking about the New England studios, and that's sort of the high end, but if you go all the way down through the independent spectrum, there's so much going on in Boston right now. So I would imagine that if you want to find a dance show or something, you could probably find it or the people willing to do it. There's so much talent here in this industry. And I, I'm sure that there are things like that all the time happening. Yeah, I'm Boston. It's oh, like, okay. like, if you go to... Oh, if you, you for your yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the casting... If, yeah. If, if you're... Like Erica said, if you're registered with the casting agencies, you, you'd have a better chance of, of yeah. being up on a being going up to on Bo these go things. on to bostoncasting.com, and sometimes if okay. you just if you just look there, some, yeah, sometimes they're looking for dancers, sometimes okay. they're looking for singers, sometimes they're looking for uh, all sorts, all of, sorts types. of types, all sorts of types. Would, all right, thanks for coming. I would say that the most important thing for anyone wanting to be involved in this industry is just 
find out you know what the events are going on find out where people are going and you know where these kinds of pe people like us are hanging out you know the Massachusetts Production Coalition that's actually where Chris right. Byers and I met uh, last year you know um, I run a, a group called Hollywood East Actors Group and we have events every now and then um, so there, there are many ways there's a really flourishing community here and there are many ways to be involved it's just a matter of you know connecting with people like us. And, and as a photographer, you see a lot going on too. Oh, absolutely. So I, um, I'm an example of a, right. a small business owner right. who is actually thriving because of the, the mm -hmm. growing film right. industry here. Cool. Um, I, I am an actress, but I, I, I pay the bills as a professional photographer. I specialize in headshots, and most of most of the clients that I work with are actors. So right. as the industry grows, as more as more people become actors and start investing in headshots classes. You know, all of, all you know, business cards. I also do graphic design, so I am a perfect example of someone who's growing, you know, economically because of this. Hollywood industry. is here. Oh, absolutely, Massachusetts is, is here. here. Massachusetts. This, this, this is a, in, this is actually an interesting point. Uh, the 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 Hollywood versus Massachusetts. I mean, Chris, I know that you're very passionate about you know being homegrown here. What 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 do you think about Massachusetts versus Hollywood? Well, I, it's funny because a lot of people say Hollywood East. And my retort back to that is, no, this is New England Studios. We're mm -hmm. Massachusetts-based. We're not right. Hollywood-based mm -hmm. here. You know, this is, uh, we're almost as far away as you can get. And a lot of, <laughs> a lot of productions aren't even done in Hollywood anymore. They're done elsewhere. Yeah. Um, Louisiana, for example, South Carolina, North Carolina. Lot, Atlanta, Dubai. Right. I mean, Barb I mean it's all over the world now. Right. Filming is now a global product. Right. And they have, uh, I, I think the industry has grown knowing locations, add a fifth and sixth actor, you know, without having to pay residuals. So you can um, go, go to places and, and the, you know, the scenic element that you bring out of location, you can't match it. You can't match it. The locations are necessary. And I don't see New York or Atlanta or any of, of it as competition. I think, honestly, that every place has its its place in the industry to go film. Right. So I think it's really good for the industry that it's, that it's global now. And I also think there's so much room for expansion because we have about 600 channels now. The content will never be fulfilled in our lifetime. Never. One more phone call, John. We have a call. Can we have a question, please? Hi, I do have a question and a statement as well. Um, I find this very informative, and yep. I thank you all for coming. But um, as an artist, as someone who would like to be involved, and um, I'm sure I speak to the other viewers as well. I need contact information. I have no idea how to get in touch with any of you. There's no telephone numbers except for this one. And if you could do that for us, I'd appreciate it. Very good. Okay. Well, okay. we will do that. Thank you. That was that's an excellent point, and we're going to do that. And uh, I'll. Before we before we end, but we should do that now because people might be watching. Get and your saying, pen and like, papers ready. Get your pen and papers ready. But before we before we do that, what Jim had talked about and Eric had talked about Boston Casting is a is an agency where it would be good for people to get involved with if if they have no acting experience or they want to find out what it's like to be an actor or be involved with being an extra. Contact BostonCasting.com, LDI Casting in Rhode Island, CP, uh, CP casting. casting right here in Boston. And the, the between was, gigs, casting, between gigs, and Maritai, Yeah, uh, Boston Castings right in Brighton, right. and uh, CP Castings is right in the South End. Right. So, so if you go on their websites, right. like John says, you'll find you'll them, find and you can it. even visit them. Well, you know, a lot of this information. If you go to the Mass Film Office website, a lot of this information mm -hmm. you can get right off of that website. It's right. it's chock full of casting and visual effects I think we're up on their website and all that information that probably a lot of people are wanting to get to is on that website. Now if somebody wanted to contact you directly how would they go about doing that? Um, at this point uh, the best way to do it is to go through our website it's it's nestudios.com and our information is on the website. Mm -hmm. So you can, our number is on there and we they all have want, extensions. They may want to go to the open house tomorrow. Absolutely. Uh, short, short time to get in touch with us between now and then, but uh, I'll be up there at eight tomorrow. <laughs> and Erica, if they wanted to contact you? Well, uh, I'm very active on social media. Right. Um, you can yes, easily you find me uh, on <laughs> Facebook or Twitter. My handle is Erica D. Actress, like Erica Derrickson, Erica D. Actress. 
You can also see my acting reel and a lot of my work and information, read my bio uh, at presskit.to slash Erica. So presskit to Erica. Um, and, uh, but really, the Twitter, also for, for What's Chris. What's my handle? Your C, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Chris is also, we're all, we're all on Twitter. Um, uh, and I'm at Erica D. Actress on Twitter, and Chris is C. Byers Boston. Because networking is so important. Because networking is so important, and, and the social media is so important. And that's even something, I mean, I mean, something that Chris was saying in the past was, was that, especially for actors here in, in Massachusetts, if, if we want to start getting in on those productions, you know, earlier on in the casting process, before they already start casting from, from LA, right. we need to be using tools like social media to get ourselves out there, to get connected and be part of this industry. And Steve, how would they get in contact with you? DolcePremierCatering.com and uh, it would be Steve Catalano. And, and they do events outside the industry also. So, Absolutely. another phone call, John. We, I think we have another phone call, Jim. Can we have your question, please? Hello. Can, can we have your question, please? Yes. Hi. 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 This is uh, Jamie. Um, Calling for John. How are you doing, John? This is a nice show. Very informational. Calling oh. on behalf of Mrs. Fitzpatrick. She called me. Okay. Tell you not. And I have a question for Steve. Okay. Okay. Um, I want to know how I could get involved in his business. And where do I need to apply? Yeah. Well, to catering for the um, film industry? We're, we're absolutely always looking at um, hiring people. As a matter of fact, um, you know, we've just hired a bunch of people um, from the local area, and we're always looking for good people. If you go to that website, um, and uh, our email and my, all my contact information is on that website as well, um, we absolutely um, are looking for people, and, and we always will be as this uh, industry continues to, to grow. Give it to him one more time. Uh, Dolce, right, yes. Dolce Premier Catering dot com. Dolce? Yep. D like his shirt. Like my shirt. D-O-L-C-E. All right. Sweet in Italian. There was a movie right, called, what was sure the film? Like Dolce, there was a film. Okay, okay. Great, great Jamie, call. Jamie, thank you for your call. Right. Thank you, 617-708-3280, 617-708. 3280. We are cable casting live right here December 20th. BNNTV.org. And you just go look at the studios where they promoted already. These people, three people, didn't know each other last year. Now, yeah, absolutely. Now look at them. But Erica, you've done so, One studio. I, you've done so much in the last year, though. Yeah, I really, I, I started my, my journey in this industry last year, right, and I know. I've just had a, a very good, I've had the work ethic of a true New Englander who's used mm -hmm. to digging their cars out mm. of the snow in the winter, you know, you have to, you have, to have a real good ethic to, to be a part you, of Massachusetts. You have to have a passion, Yeah, too. exactly. Well, I think that's evident in this business, I really do. I believe that that's there already, it's just tapping into it and... It's true, you know, and yeah. that's you know we're all coming that's, at this business from right. from different angles, but mm -hmm. the the truth is that we all have so much in common. You know, we're all doing it for this for this passion for the industry for this movement this 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 thing that we're all. We doing all have together. different talents. And we all have different talents, but the thing that's also interesting that Chris was saying on the tour yesterday was just like an actor. I mean, the studio we're all we're all waiting for the waiting for the next job we're all we're all fighting together we're, we're all building this together it is you know? truly a journey and it and it really is you know to be an actor there's so much uncertainty you know you never know when the next job is going to come you never know if you're even going to be paid so a lot of times you it's you know the That's work the is one thing and then so getting important. paid is another thing right. so there's so much uncertainty so you really you really have to love it in order to do right. it in order to keep with it absolutely and that's why it's so important to have a new england studio here because I agree. It, it, it allows for more stability. Absolutely. I mean, that was, uh, from, from the onset, that was the vision, is to really create a stable environment here for the industry. So we'll see how it goes in the next two years. <laughs> Jim, what you were saying was interesting about the underwriting of various projects and ancillary businesses to support the main... I always said that, John. Yeah. It's important to people who, like these three, are trying to give to us. Right. People should be helping them also. That's an important. I'll tell you why it's important because they create jobs. Now we can create more jobs and have this whole thing keep on going around and around. More jobs is what we all need. Right. This lady called up. She wants to know. This guy called up. He wants to know. It creates jobs, and that's what we're all here for—to help each other. And I think the bottom line: these three people are trying to help people. We should help them also if we can. Well, and you know, I think it's sort of interesting. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I mean, 
One of the initiatives from Massachusetts is to really enhance the creative economy. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you can have any more enhancement than what this industry has done in such a short period. I mean, I think they've developed close to 4,000 jobs between crew and producing and writing and directing and everything else mm -hmm. that goes on in the industry. And um, these are people who are making a living, who are sending their kids to schools, who are buying cars and homes, who have health insurance, who have retirements. A pretty stable environment. That's right. Even in an unstable job environment, th these people are still doing well with part-time, and that, uh, what they consider part-time. Right, and that should, be, that should be one of the, the elements that's so important when people argue this point yes. to Massachusetts letters, legislators. Absolutely. Right. I mean, I got to tell you, we've had fantastic support from most of the, uh, of the people who go through the voting process. Right. I think one of the votes, there was only three against uh, capping uh, the film yes. tax credit. We have, another, we have another call, Jim? Yes, we do, John. Can we have your question, please? Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi, John. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Um, you got a nice show going on. Um, I'm Helen Fitzpatrick's daughter. Hi. <laughs> Helen watches. Helen watches every month. Every month. Helen's an actual. Actually, Helen's an actress. Yes. Oh. She was. She's an actor. Um, oh really? Yeah. She's an. <laughs> yeah. She's been on stage. How, how's How's Helen doing? She's doing great. Actually, she's doing real great. Good. Good. You enjoying the show? Getting a lot of yes, good information. Yes, I good. Nice. A lot of a lot of good information. Yes. Um. Do you want to talk about four reasons stuff too? Do we talk about what? No, we're not going to, we don't really address that. We're not going to address that on this particular show. Um, okay. But, but maybe on another show we'll, we'll address that a little, a little, a little more depth and detail. Okay? okay. Well, but thanks, 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 for, calling, you thanks for calling, thanks for calling anyway. Know. All right. All right, thank you. You're welcome. 617-708-3280. 617-708-3280. Oh, as you were listening for this last hour, the motion picture industry is alive and well. Mm -hmm right here in the Bay State. Let's keep it that way. 617-708-3280. And how can you help, Jim? How can they help? They can keep on talking to their reps about right. the 25 percent. Is that what it is, 25 percent? Yes, it is, mm -hmm. 25 uh, percent. And that's what we need, the reps. Because right. the reps are all on our side. We had the mayor, Marty Walsh, who's a friend of ours. We both know Marty, sure. just up the street from us. Right. And he's all for it. Marty's a good guy. He's a union guy. And he, he even said to me one day, he says, whatever I can do to help, let me know. Oh, he so will, too. Very can important. you, can you imagine not process. being involved with, the, That's right. with that here? Because it is such a viable part of our economy at this point. Oh, absolutely. I, and you know something? For the mayor of Boston to be supportive of mm -hmm. it is, is very important. Because cities are hard to shoot in. Yeah. So when you have the support of the mayor, it mm -hmm. really makes things a lot smoother for the companies to come in and actually shoot in the cities. Right. You know, the, the outskirts are a lot easier to shoot, but it, it's not just Boston, it's any city. When you've got to close down a uh, street That's in right. the city, right. it takes a lot of, you know, you know, blue tape, red tape, yellow tape, just to get these police officers, right. traffic to reroute and stuff. It's a hard job. Yeah. I, I was speaking with somebody recently, and it was a, it was a legislator, <clears throat> and he was telling me, he, he supports the arts, and he was saying he didn't really have much involvement with the film industry, mm -hmm. but he worked behind the scenes to make sure that the theater district mm -hmm. got some good breaks so that plays could come here and programs could come here. He said, if you knew how much money that that's bringing in just to that particular area, you wouldn't believe it. Right. An enormous amount of money to the theater district. Mm -hmm. The arts are so important. Oh, absolutely. They're so important. And we have a lot of kids, you know this, John. Emerson, Emerson watch, a Emerson lot of Emerson college. kids yeah, watch, watch the show. They call, we talk to them and stuff, and they're good people and stuff. They're always trying and to we, And we see a lot, of, a lot of Emerson kids are aspiring film directors, filmmakers, writers, mm -hmm. screenwriters. You have a lot of schools in Massachusetts that are actually really decent film schools. I mean, one of the biggest shocks I got, you know, Fitchburg State, we're up close to Fitchburg, and I went and visited their film school. What a great program. BU, really great BU program. Also. BU has another good program, uh, but yeah, it's not just one or two schools. There, there's yeah, a bunch around yeah. that you know have pretty significant programs. 
And that's also one of the great reasons it's it's awesome to be an actor in Massachusetts Definitely. because there are so many schools. That there are so many chances to to practice your craft and get your feet wet. And in in uh, it's, student projects are the best way to get experience. Absolutely, and, and I think that it also lends to a really important point that it's not just the economic benefits of having the industry here, but there's also sort of like the cultural benefits and the community that's growing. I mean, I, I myself have, have witnessed, over, even just over the past year, a huge explosion in just the sense of community among yeah. people all in this industry together. It's really something that a lot of local people, I'm talking about hundreds if not thousands of people, are like bonding over right now. And then you see that when you go on various sets too, right, Charlie? Oh, easily, yeah. Like Chris said, 4,000 people got hired, maybe next year 8,000 right. will get hired. Right. And after the year, 16,000. That's what we're, tr we're striving for. And when it comes down to it, this is really about the people of Massachusetts. Is. You know, this is, it's, it, the movies are one thing, but it comes down to the people. This is by the people, Economics. for the people, right. mm -hmm. the people want it, the people themselves are engaged in it and, and are doing it, they're the ones making it happen. Well, you know, the other interesting thing about the school element is uh, the other thing that the studio is going to potentially do, especially with the growth uh, that is potentially in front of us, is we're going to potentially, one of, one of the things that's in our future phases is, is to develop a film school up at the studio. And what we're going to do is it's going to be a full, it's part of the full service that we're shooting for. And that means we're going to be teaching, interning, and then hopefully employing all within Devons. So it's going to be a full circle. Instead of kids having to go out to California to work, now they're going to have an opportunity to stay inside Massachusetts, pay taxes, buy houses, and right. not have to move out. Is there, is there hotels and everything up by Devon? There are. There's two hotels almost across the street from where we are. Because I know that was important one time. Someone once said that there's enough well, people the, to the stay there. There's, there's like never that. enough of anything anywhere. I mean, you know, because one film can come in and, you know, it's not going to take much. But then a fi the next film that comes in could take resources from 20 miles away. Mm, yeah. You know, it just really depends on the needs of the specific film. And every film is very different. Mm. And you notice that too, Steve, when you, when you cater, I'm sure. Absolutely. Um, when we were up in, um, in Rockport, you know, hotel rooms were scarce. We were renting, you know, we were renting a house from uh, someone. So that, again, you know, it fills rooms, it fills um, restaurants, it fills, you know, gas stations, you know, local hardware stores. We were buying, you know, a bunch of stuff from the local hardware store, everything from trash barrels to trash bags to, mm -hmm. you know, um, Bunch of various other things that we needed for the uh, yeah. you know tables chairs and a lot of uh, several uh, films you need filmed right here in, in Roxbury you know in Dorchester mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I filmed all, I filmed all of the Kittredge films right here we I picked yeah. up we Tony Hale in as a hooker in the heat right around the corner in Roxbury right in Dudley never that's never right thought my parents would be so yeah. proud of me for becoming <laughs> a hooker but they sure did but that's an and that's Page an right. example of of the 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 importance of the film industry here because it's helping the inner city all of Kittredge we filmed right here on Townsend Street and. I think it's right around the corner. Yes, it is. We were down there for uh, about three or four days. And the zookeeper filmed feet. not zookeeper. mere feet from this building. Yeah. That's funny. And that made Boston shine. If one movie made Boston it's shine, okay. it was the zookeeper. Boston looked great in that film. All the movies make it look good. Mark Wahlberg comes here a lot. Um, ben ben Affleck. Affleck comes here a lot. Adam Sandler comes here. Kevin James. And now Maureen, the second heat. They're going to, have to do a part two, and hopefully they'll put well, more. You want to know? You want to know what's interesting? Also, is I, I'm out in California a lot with the studios and with the producers and with the directors, and I have never heard one bad word about shooting in Massachusetts. You know, usually you go on location, you you have certain problems and certain things are sort of hard to take, or you, whatever the case may be. Everybody who goes comes here to shoot. They're happy. They go home not complaining, happy, wanting to come back. And as you see, a lot of the companies that have filmed here, they come back. They do here. come back. Sandra Bullock loves they come And back. Cameron Diaz, she yes. even insisted she, that, that they come and film here. Three right. times she's filmed here. Three times. We have another call, Jim? Another one. Can we have a question, Helen's please? Helen's daughter, three. Yes. Helen. I have, a, I have a remark to make to food service. Continue to keep right on doing the good job that you're doing. <laughs> and I absolutely agree. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I don't have to dinner by myself because I think that you know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Helen, 
Helen, you're, you're going back on stage at some point, though, aren't you? Yes, I am. Good, and good. With Erica. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Erica and Tyrone. Let's do it. Tyrone. 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 Tap dancing duet. Thank you, Helen, for so much for calling. No, I just wanted the full service to know that I agree absolutely positively with everything. Nice. I appreciate Good it. Thank you very much. All right. Goodbye. Merry Christmas. Well, actually, Merry Christmas. It's the end of the year 2013. Where did the year go, Jim? We had a lot of good shows. Jim. A lot of good shows. A lot of good guests. Jim and I, uh, Jim and I have been bringing the show to you this this year, 2013, and uh, we hope that you have enjoyed the program as much as Jim and I have enjoyed bringing it to you. We've enjoyed bringing the program to you because we really believe that the movie industry, the motion picture industry, the entertainment industry in general is here to stay in Massachusetts and we need all the support, needs all the support it can get. That means going to your representatives, your Massachusetts legislators and saying, hey, look, let's keep those movies coming here. Let's keep that 25% tax break on the books here and get those movies here. Everybody has a great experience. Everybody loves movies and everybody loves doing them here. So keep these films coming. What a great opportunity to have the New England studio oh, right thank here. Thank you. Yeah, we're, thank we're you very for, happy for to be here. being involved with that. Erica, thank you for helping us put the show together tonight. Thanks for having us. Steve, Tom. thanks for being here and talking about the ancillary. Thank you for having me. Thanks John, for one more thing. Ted Lewis, come on up here, Ted. Here's a guy who runs everything for us. Besides the people back here, you don't get to see them, but this guy right here, our media gurus, John calls them. This is He's our media charge. guru. This He's is in Ted charge Lewis. of everything. He does everything. Uh, Besides Ted the people is. and the people oh, who hey, do Ted. the cameras, nice thank you very you, much for an excellent year. Thank you. And the people behind the screen, everybody That's loves right. it. That's right. Ted is responsible for bringing this program, uh, not necessarily into your homes, but certainly on the computer, on YouTube, That's right. and on other venues, too. He has done a great job, and we, we can't tell you how important what you've done for us this last year has been. But we also want to thank, thank the people here at Excellent. BNN mm -hmm. this past year for helping us bring this program into your homes. All the people here, the cast, the crew, all of the people that helped bring us, bring this program to you. Jim, we're looking forward to 2014. A better right? year, John. A better year. Best is yet to come. That's right. We right. have a lot of shows coming up. Please, all of you, join us again, right? Okay? okay. Absolutely. Thank Bring you. some of that excellent food next time. Yes. I don't have to do that. <laughs> I want to see a buffet table. I don't have table. to do that. <laughs> well, when you come out to New England Studios, we'll set up the buffet That's for right. you. New England Studios. You can come out to the studio. Absolutely. Yeah. Happy holidays from everybody here at BNN. Keep those phone calls coming in 2014. Woof, woof.